The Russian invasion of Ukraine has turned all eyes towards Central and Eastern Europe. One country strategically located west of Ukraine is Hungary. Its population just under 10 million. Hungary has a particularly strong relationship with Poland, which is particularly important now since, like Hungary, Poland borders Ukraine. And what about Hungary and the United States? Well, during World War II and in 1941, Hungary and U.S. relations ended when Hungary joined the Axis powers. Relations between the two countries were reestablished after the war. Following World War II, Hungary was occupied by Soviet forces and was under communist rule for over 40 years. In 1989, after the fall of the Iron Curtain, the United States helped Hungary set up a democratic political system and a free market economy. Ten years later, Hungary joined NATO. Hungarian soldiers have been part of NATO operations in Afghanistan, Iraq, and the Balkans. In 2004, Hungary joined the European Union. Hungary and the United States are ongoing collaborators, particularly in areas of security, law enforcement, economics, and energy. In 2019, Hungary and the U.S. signed a defense cooperation agreement. Both countries pledged to help modernize military cooperation between the two. Today, the U.S. investments in support more than 100,000 jobs in Hungary. Founder of CPAC Hungary and Director General of the Center for Fundamental Rights, Miklos Santo, joins me. Nice to see you, sir. Thank you very much for having me. Um, you know, we talked to you, sat down, and you'd, I'm just as a, before I talked to you about Hungary, you saw that video of Philadelphia, um, one of the major cities in this country. And, of course, we have, that looks like video of many major cities in this country. Do you have that in Budapest or in big cities in Hungary? No, those footages that I have seen just uh, a couple of minutes earlier were, uh, were shocking for me, to tell the truth. Uh, as, as we usually say, or as I usually say, Hungary is part of the West only or except for that we are still normal. So Hungary is still the country of common sense and normality. Uh, it's uh, the Hungarian right and the, the conservative Hungarian government stands up firmly for the three values of God, homeland and family. And that type of, of, of pictures or that, that type of, uh, of massive drug usage is unimaginable. Yeah, you know, on, it's, on Hungarian streets. You know, the thing that was, was, first of all, it's terrible how our people suffer. I mean, that's terrible. But I also think, what does the world think about this? Because, you know, we're supposed to be, you know, a very powerful nation and we're the last superpower. And those, those videos go around the world. Yeah, um, I will give you maybe uh, an answer with a geopolitical perspective uh, as well. Uh, there is, there is it's, it's visible that there is a shift in the, in the world order. And that's why, in our times, the West needs a strong U.S. But a country, a nation, is only strong as its leaders are strong. And the Biden administration, to tell the truth, it's, it's weak. It's, uh, it's clearly mirrored by the, or with the Russian aggression uh, into the Ukraine, because I think it would have never happened under a Trump administration. That's why uh, Hungary or the Hungarian conservatives uh, we do hope for the, for the comeback of, uh, of President Trump, who maybe could bring, bring back normality and common sense to the U.S. as well, and, to, and he would be able, I think, to bring, bring back peace to the world you and know, uh, to the Ukrainian situation. I mean, Elections are important, democracy is important, obviously it's important in your country and my country. Um, but I read that Viktor Orban, the prime minister, expects to be in office to, till 2034. Yeah, 2034. He yeah, expects, he expects, yeah. Yeah, yeah go on. Um, I mean, it's like, that doesn't seem like there's, I mean, to me, I think that that's someone who rules with rather an iron fist who thinks he's going to be in office that long. Look, uh, despite the coverage of the New York Times and CNN and the big media in the U.S., Hungary is still a democracy. Uh, rule of law exists in the country. The only thing that, uh, because of uh, the left is so frustrated about Hungary, is that the Hungarian right is successful. The Hungarian right, the Conservative Party of Prime Minister Orban, won four elections in a row with a supermajority. Uh, so it's the, the democratic uh, legitimacy or uh, legitimization of the government and of the parliamentary majority is quite strong. Their only problem, I mean, the, the problem of the deep state in Europe, that's called Brussels and the European Union. And the problem of the, of the Biden administration with Hungary is that, as I mentioned, it firmly stands up for the three values of God, homeland, and family. And it clearly goes against the liberal mainstream. So we do believe that, for example, uh, families, strong families, 
should be the backbone of a strong and sovereign nation. So uh, we do say in Hungary that we should protect the borders externally and we should protect children and family internally. That type of political approach is not in line with the liberal mainstream and that's why they are trying to uh, accuse the Hungarian right of some kind of anti-democratic tendencies, but those accusations are, are not, too, not true. Sir, thank you very much. Nice to have you join me. I hope you come back um, next time you're here. Thank, thank you Thank you very, very much. much, sir. Thank, thank you. you.